Well, the Supreme Court has issued a decision today, but it will not end the conversation about what marriage is and why it matters for America. In the places where marriage, where, where the American people had the opportunity to vote on this, they strongly voted to retain the understanding of marriage that has been that. <laughs> My own people are meant, absolutely meant, to put me first. That is, my people are meant to put me above all else in their lives. They are meant to give the first offering of all that they have unto me. That is, my people are meant to rejoice that it is me that they serve, that it is me that they can obey. For I say, when a people is honoring me, not only with their lips, but with what it is that they do, then I say, they prove they are loving me. But I say, when a people are dishonoring me by preferring themselves their own way and other things above me, then I say, they prove they are not worthy of me. Now I say, this day that I don't have in God, am calling at this time for all men to repent, because even the ones who claim that they are mine have not truly served me. That is, they have not put me as the preeminent, as the all in all, as the one they are meant to please. But I say they have given themselves to other masters, other lovers, and yes, they have walked afar off from my way. And I say they've been taken in the confusion, the delusion, the madness of the age. Now I say this day when you look upon the way that they are behaving under Babylon's Jesus, I say they put everything above me. That is, they live in a disgusting realm of the love of self, the love of their own way, and I say they are counted unworthy of me. Now I say this day that I don't have God never called you to prefer anything, anybody above me. Nor are you meant to prefer yourselves, but I say you are meant to prefer me. For I say it is me, the living God, you are meant to be honoring. It is me, the living God, you are meant to keep serving. And it is me, the living God, you are meant to follow after each and every day. For I say it is me, the living God, and me alone, who is indeed the way of life and truth the way of hope and peace and mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who is ever present to guide forth, to direct and instruct, and direct the people who give themselves unto me. For I say it is me, the living God, alone of all the gods who is able. Therefore I say, put your trust, your faith, your confidence in me. Now I say, in a wicked, a perverse, a vile, and evil generation, consider that I, the living God, am the one who delights in a people who stay in obedience unto me. That is, the ones who will keep themselves honoring me day after day. For I say, when you put your honor upon me, I say that I, the living God, will honor thee. That is, I will have respect towards the people who put me first. Now I say, this day when I, the living God, did rule amongst my people of old, when they honored me, when they put me first, when they paid oblation unto me, and served me with all of their hearts, I say that I honored them. And I say they became the greatest among nations, not because of what they could do, but because of who I am. And I say that the nations round about look to the light that they put forth because they were found honoring me. But I say when my people got eyes full of adultery and turned aside to be envious of the gods, the ways of the heathen, then I say they were dishonoring me. And I say they fell down, they were overwhelmed, overtaken, made captives and slaves, and I say it was because of their own failure to honor me. Now I say, consider in the land that ye are in, that many will spout my name, but I say they dishonor me. That is, they are dishonoring me by the way that they live, by what it is that they do, and where it is that they take themselves. For I say, they are taking themselves far from me, they are going in the way of stubborn, proud fools, and yes, they will pay for the same. And I say, when any people will dishonor me, then I say they are counted as fools by me. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, do not call you to walk in a way that is far from me, to be bound in the way of fools, but I say that I call you to be ever seeking to be pleasing unto me. That is, to be guided forth, uplifted, directed, and corrected in my way. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of all victory and triumph, the way of all truth and mercy, and the way that is hope provided. 
And I say, when it is me that you look to in faith and trust and confidence, then I say, you are found well-pleasing unto me. Now I say, this day when I will have been God to call any people to serve me, I say, they are meant to do so with all of their hearts. That is, they are not meant to be serving a multitude of other lovers, other gods, and having their attention divided upon the same. But I say they are meant to keep ever faithful and true to me, ever diligent to seek to please me in all that they do. For I say it is me, the living God, who desires that a people would serve me with gladness, rejoicing, and the giving of praise. Not only that, but I desire that my people would keep me as the one that they love above all else and seek to please. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do look upon the diversions, the perversions, that men and women are giving themselves unto, and I say they are only degrading themselves. For I say they are taking on the defiling patterns of ancient deities, that is, false gods, that have led men to damnation of soul. For I say that the gods of the heathen are simply demons, and I say when men will give themselves over to the perversion of demons, then I say they act out the same. And I say they behave themselves in ways that are unclean, perverse, and wicked, and yes, they are far from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you in any way to take up the ways of the heathen, for I say those ways are filthy, perverse, and vile, and full of all manner of uncleanness and dishonor towards me. For I say when men turn aside to idols, then I say they are dumb as idols are dumb. And I say they are blinded by idolatry, they are taken into the shame of the same, and I say they are dishonoring me. For I say, when men will choose to worship the idols rather than me, the living God, I say they are greatly offending me. Now I say, when you see the ones in these times who are indeed exalting themselves in all of their debauchery, defilement, and filthiness, know they are dishonoring me. For I say, for all of their strutting and boasting, they are simply preparing themselves for hell. And I say that hell shall be the reward of all of those who have chosen to dishonor me. For I say that I, the living God, find no pleasure at all in dishonorable people who simply want to go in the way of fools. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend you to walk uprightly in me. I say that I do intend you to be thankful unto me. That is, ever thankful that it is me you can look to, believe, and entrust, for I am indeed the Almighty God. And I say when it is me that you will continue to love, to serve, to obey, to please, then I say you are found abiding in me. And yes, you will give me pleasure because you are seeking to honor me. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do offer to any and all the way of repentance and they will be accepting of the same, then I say that they are found pleasing unto me. But I say when I offer the way of repentance and men will proudly, defiantly refuse the same, where do they end? I say they end in a heap, they end in dismay, and they end in distress because they have opposed me. For I say, when men refuse repentance, of course they are dishonoring me. Now I say, it is me, the living God, who is giving the call to all men to repent. And yes, I am able to deliver even the most demonized of all that will hear my call. For I say that when I, the living God, did come and walk as a man, did not I de deliver legion and others who were equally possessed. I say it was me who superseded what men could do, and I say it was me, the living God, who showed my power over demon forces. And I say the same power remains until this day. Therefore I say do not shun the perverse, the wicked, the corrupt, the evil, but I say declare the need to repent even unto them. For I say it is me, the living God, who is calling sinners, all sinners, to repent. I say this day be thankful that you can continue to declare me, to walk uprightly in me, and be ever thankful to serve me day by day. For I say when it is me, the living God, that you put as the preeminent force in your life, then I say you are honoring me. But I say when you are choosing to be losing by dishonoring me, you prove you are merely a fool. And I say that hell is full of fools who want it their own way. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am gathering unto myself the ones who will walk uprightly, the ones who will be thankful to be pleasing me. And I say that I'm gathering in the ones who will walk in the straight and their way that I provide, ever may glad to keep on serving me. For I say it is me and me alone you are meant to look to, to believe, to trust and obey. And it is me, the living God, who will prove to be the rock of refuge unto thee, for I am the I am. Now I say, in a way of perverse, a vile, a wicked, and evil generation, it is me, the living God, who is calling and calling and calling for all men to repent. 
that is to turn from the darkness, the evil, the iniquity that they have been in, and to walk uprightly in me. For I say you are not meant to be found as the careless, the proud, the arrogant, who want their own way, simply to be destroyed and devoured in the same. But I say you are meant to be coming forth, knowing that it is me that you serve. Now I say this day, let it be me that you continue to look to, that you continue to believe, to trust and obey each and every day. And let it be me who will indeed be the life source provided for those who will believe upon me. For I say it is me, the living God alone of all the gods who is well able. Therefore I say, trust yourselves to me. For I say, when you will be looking to me, believing upon me and trusting each day, then you are guided forth in my way. I say this day when I the living God do give the call to all to repent and then will hear and obey. Of course, they are directed, corrected, and instructed by me. For I say it is not a difficult thing to walk in the straight and narrow way if you are found abiding in me. For I say that the man who is wise will realize that all other ways lead to death and damnation of his soul. And I say that he will walk circumspectly in the way that I've provided, keeping the life of who I am. But I say when a man will put me in a low position in his life, serve a multitude of other gods, and think somehow he gets by in it all, such a man is a blinded fool. For I say when men turn aside from me to take up any other power source, to love any other thing or any other person or any other position more than me, I say they are loving the wind. For I say those things that they put their love upon will prove to be falsehood, will prove to be empty, will prove to be futile because they have chosen another way. But I say when men will put their love upon me, then it is me, the living God, who will return my love unto them. I say this day be thankful that you can indeed keep on serving, keep on loving, and keep on preferring me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is meant to be the preeminent, the one that you love, seek to please and obey. And it is me, the living God, you are meant to follow after, for I am indeed the way of eternal life. And it is me, you are meant to bow to, to obey and serve each and every day. Now I say this day, be glad for the privilege to love me, to serve me and obey me, for it is me, the living God, who does give to you the way of my life. And it is me, the living God, who will ever uplift, direct and correct you, for yes, indeed, you are mine. For I say you are meant to counter the privilege to keep on walking uprightly, to keep on being guided and directed by me. And I say you are meant to know, understand, and realize that it is me, the living God, who is the life source to those who are preferring me. Now I say this day do not back up on what it is that I call you to do, that is to declare the repentance revolution to any and all. And I say likewise be declaring to the sons of men my power to deliver and set them free. For I say there are so many who are in captivity, slavery, and bondage to demons in these times, they have no hope at all. And I say they live each day in continual despair because they are far from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend you to walk uprightly. I say that I do intend you to be ever thankful, to be guided, directed, and corrected by me. And I say that I do intend you to be coming forth renewed in the power of my presence day by day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is all righteousness and truth. It is me, the living God, who is all mercy and hope. And it is me, the living God, who is the life intended for my own. Therefore, I say, keep steady, keep true, keep preferring me. For I say, when it is me, the living God, that you will honor in all that you do and all that you have, it is me, the living God, who will honor thee. And yes, you will be able to see that it is me, the living God, who will keep you in the midst of a wicked, a perverse, a vile generation, for I am the I am. And it is me, the living God, who has already delivered you time and again from the hands of enemy forces and will continue to do so as you honor me. Anyone who is a sodomite is so because you are possessed with the demon. You were made a male or a female. You, get into you are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You are the light of the world. The city of God is relentlessly putting forth the call to repentance, revolution, and ecclesia in Gavin.
Are you willing to answer the call, or do you just want to play church? Now's the time to take action and get active in the war to arrest your soul. And you lust for the women only because of a demon, and you need to have that demon cast out of you. Don't pick at scabs. You'll leave a scar. Mm-hmm.